It's enjoyed by some 70 million readers every year. The Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Its editors are celebrating a milestone with the release of a new book, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit, 50 Years of Beautiful. Christy Brinkley is one of the iconic models who has graced the magazine's cover. Christy, it's good to see you. Good morning. Thank you. Good Three morning. Three times in a row you graced the cover, which I think is a record that still stands. Do you remember the first time? Uh, yes, I do. It was, um, I started doing the issue in 75, but it was in 79. Uh, my cover from the most gorgeous place in the world, there the it Seychelles is right there. Islands. And, um, you were living in Paris at the time. Modeling wasn't even your full-time job. Well, actually, when I did my first issue, I was still living in Paris. And I did a picture sort of from the side in a thong, which was so racy at the time. I mean, I still think that thongs are racy. Right. You know, it's like one thread, right? But I was only posing from the side. I was kind of, there we go. Yeah. Okay, don't look, anybody. And then. Too late. And so. <laughs> And the magazine came out in America, and then everybody started calling me in Paris and going, oh, my gosh, everybody's talking about you. You're, like, in a magazine. You're practically naked. And I was like, oh, my gosh, you're kidding me. Instantly changes your life when you're on the cover oh, yes. or on the pages of that magazine. Instantly. Even a little picture like that changed my life. And then the cover, well, forget about it. That was uh, day and night. Did you ever have a, ma a picture in the magazine that you didn't like, that you thought was not flattering? It would seem hard to believe, but did you ever look at one and go, I wish they hadn't used that? <laughs> well, actually, my very first picture, I mean, the very first pose I ever did for Sports Illustrated, I was in Cancun. Uh, Walter Yost was the photographer. My orders for the day were go out and get a suntan. And I woke up in the president of Mexico's private home, nothing else was built in Cancun at the time, with a knock at the door saying, would you like us to go fishing for your breakfast, or would you like us to pick some fruit from the trees? And I said, oh, a little of both. I'll be working on my tan. And, and <laughs> nice then, work if you can get it. Exactly. And then um, about five in the afternoon, Julie Campbell came and said, Christy, we want you to do a shot. And she handed me a tiny little pink thing on the bottom and a little shawl, which she knotted really hard, which sort of compressed the girls down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Is that what you call